from Melanie's Muses here where I muse about things in the entertainment world from TV to movies to books and hopefully you stay along for the ride. Today I'm very excited because I got my hands on an advanced release copy of Sucker Punch which is Anita Blake number 27 by Laurel K. Hamilton. For those of you that are new to my reviews or maybe you just need a quick refresher, my reviews are completely spoiler free so you don't have to worry about the story being ruined for you. And they just talk about the key points, things I liked or didn't like, and then maybe some references to previous books if you haven't read those. But I don't think it will give too much away. Let me start by saying that Anita Blake's world is one of my favorite worlds ever, book-wise, to go and play in. It is very dark, it is very different, and Laurel K. Hamilton does an amazing job of sort of describing what's going on. And when you pick up an Anita Lake book, especially the later books, it's never quite sure what kind of story you're going to get, but they're always stories that satisfy me. Sucker Punch actually finds Anita going back to her preternatural martial days. For those of you that don't follow the series and wonder what that is, Back when Supernaturals became known to the public, they have a group of marshals, some that were a little bit dodgier than others, that went out and basically executed the monsters. The monsters did something bad, the police force weren't up to dealing with it, they called in one of these guys. As the books have gone on, Anita has sort of taken a step backwards from her marshalling at times and it's been more about her personal life. But this book is pretty much 100% Anita Marshall on the job. It even starts with Anita on a plane with none of her entourage with her, which is really, really strange, but also stresses how major this case is. For those that are new to the series, this wouldn't mean much, but Anita hates flying and she never goes anywhere without her entourage. There's a really good reason for that, but that would be a massive spoiler. If you haven't read the books, go back to the beginning, then when you get to here, it'll all make sense. So as I said, the main story is a lot about her martial work, and it's really cool because we get to see how much Anita has grown, both in the field and personality-wise. For the most part, she has a much better understanding of her emotions, and with the life she leads, trust me when I say that is super important. But we also get to see how things have changed in her professional career. How she attacks the hunt now is very different from how she would have attacked it back sort of in book one or two, when she very much viewed vampires, shapeshifters, etc., as monsters. With this book not being near her home and being so martial based, it won't be a big shock that there are not a lot of appearances and mentions for some of the main love interests she has, for example, Jean Claude. Although you would expect to see Micah pop up. There is a really good reason he doesn't, that is explained in the book. And there are some mentions of Nathaniel, I will say text messages, super cute. I don't think that's a spoiler, I think that's just what it is. The most exciting part for me was you get to see three of the four horsemen on the hunt with another marshal that is a little bit newer. I mean, he's not a rookie, we've met him before, but he definitely is not anywhere near their level. I bet you can guess who the three horsemen are, right? Yep, we have Anita, obviously. We have Ted, Edward, he shows up, as does Olaf, AKA Otto. There's a big change that's been coming in the Anita, Olaf sort of overlap. And without giving spoilers, all I can say is the dynamics in this book are outstanding. Laurel K. Hamilton, not this out the park. I don't even know how she got all of that separated out onto paper, but it made fascinating reading. Not even just from a story point of view, from a psychology point of view, from a general public point of view. Well, for me anyway. But then I like dark stuff. Maybe it won't be so interesting for those of you that don't like dark stuff. If you don't like dark stuff, why are you reading this anyway? If you don't like dark stuff, don't read these books. If, like me, you like the dark stuff, you will not be disappointed, especially if you're an Anita Blake fan. I'm sure there are some out there that are going to argue and disagree because everybody has their own bit of the world that they like. Some people like the romancy side and the weddings and, you know, the strip club and guilty pleasures and blah, blah, blah. Don't have that so much in this book. It is really an Anita book and really focused on Anita and the Marshall side, which I loved. You know, at this point, I'm not sure Laura K. Hamilton could write an Anita Blake book that I didn't like. No, I think she'd have to try really hard to do that because I just love all aspects of the world. Those of you that watch my reviews regularly or read my reviews on my website know that a five star is not an automatic for me, but this book has definitely earned it. Okay, that wraps it up. I highly recommend that you grab Anita Blake, Sucker Punch, 
book 27 by Laurel K. Hamilton. It is releasing in all formats on August 4th, 2020, so just under a month from now. It won't be available in paperback probably for about a year. Normally it comes out as a hardcover and e-copies, but if you haven't started the series yet, I know there are people that are jumping in like now and thinking, okay, I'll pick it up. You're gonna to miss too much. You're gonna to miss too much backstory and it's not gonna have the same impact and it's definitely not gonna be as much fun. So if you haven't read them, go back to book one, Guilty Pleasures. I will tell you the first seven or eight books have kind of a theme and then it sort of shifts a bit as I need to develop. Try and help to give spoilers here, people. So I recommend starting from the beginning. You won't regret it. If you love what I love to read and I know a lot of my muses do, definitely this is a series for you. And with that, make sure you are checking out the website because there's lots more stuff that goes on on the website. Join me and my husband on Facebook Live every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern for your chance to chat about books, TV and win prizes. And join me back here next time on the vlog, whenever that is. If you liked it, do the fun YouTube things, like, comment and subscribe, then you won't miss when I'm back. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.